welcome. And most importantly, I hope that you and your family are doing well. For so long, you have probably been blowing your nose wrong. And I'm going to show you why. And this is one video I ask you to please watch through the end. Because this is something that you're going to want to share with your friends, family, loved ones, and even your children. Now, upper respiratory issues is very, very common. Imagine the common cold, the flu, allergies, pollens that we breathe in. What about the wrong foods that we're ingesting, causing allergic reactions? We always seem to get it in our nose. It gets stuffy. And what about sinuses and middle ear or even inner ear problems? This can lead to tinnitus, ringing in the ears, as well as dizziness, that vertigo sensation. Now here's a picture of your paranasal sinuses. They are air-filled extensions of your nasal cavity. There are four paired sinuses, the maxillary, frontal, sphenoid, and ethmoid. So back behind the nasal region, we have the eustachian tubes. And the eustachian tubes makes its way to the middle ear. And there are three primary functions of the eustachian tubes. And they are ventilation of the middle ear so that the ambient pressure and middle ear pressure are similar. Protection of the middle ear from reflux of the nasal pharyngeal secretions and bacteria. And lastly, drainage of secretions of the middle ear into the nasal pharynx. So as bacteria and viruses breed behind the nasal area, you can now see how it can make its way back through those eustachian tubes into the middle ear. And that's why it's quite common to see middle ear infections, as well as sinusitis. Although I am gonna show you the simplest things that you can do to help clear out that congestion and get you feeling well once again. First, you need to understand the dangers of forcefully blowing our nose too hard. If you have an upper respiratory infection where there's bacteria or viruses present in the mucus, this can cause a sinus infection. And also, forcefully blowing your nose may also send bacteria from the nose to the inner ear and cause air infections. And if you're blowing your nose too often or too hard, this can also rupture the small blood vessels and that can cause nosebleeds, especially if the mucosal lining is already irritated. And when you're blowing too hard, that pressure makes its way into the eardrum through those eustachian tubes, and that potentially can damage the eardrum. So let's get to the meat and potatoes. You're all stuffed up. You wanna get your tissue, put it over your nose, and blow hard, and blow hard, and nothing's coming out. Number one, those vessels inside your nose, behind the area in the sinus, those vessels are inflamed. So that means it's clogged. And by you blowing harder, we'll inflame it more. So that's the first thing we don't want to do is blow hard. The other thing is, remember, if there is mucus up there and we're blowing hard, that mucus that's carrying those bacteria or those viruses can make its way through those eustachian tubes into the middle ear or even to the inner ear. And obviously worse things can happen. So the correct way to blow our nose is out of one nostril at a time, mild to moderate pressure. In order to do so, we have to occlude or close off our other nostril. And we do not want to close it off like this and blow our nose this way, because then we can be spreading germs onto our hands. So we will put the tissue over both nostrils We'll close off one side as we lightly blow, lightly to moderately, from the other side. One, two, three. If nothing comes out, that's okay. Then you'll do the other side. You'll close off the other side and you'll blow out the other nostril. One, two, three. Lightly to moderately, not hard. Now, nothing's coming out. What do you do? Do not keep blowing. Because if you apply continuous pressure, you potentially can make things worse and make things much more inflamed. So the reason why it's not coming out is because you probably have lots of mucus that's congested behind the nasal area as well as throughout the sinus and even the eustachian tubes. So we have to work with the causation. How do we get rid of that mucus? 
So we need to stimulate the nasal region so we can help that mucus flow, so we can get that out of our system. Take your thumb and second finger and just squeeze it in the middle part of the nose, right below the bone. And you'll squeeze hard and release, squeeze hard and release, squeeze hard and do it about 15, 20 times. And by doing so, we're gonna cause a nasal reflex and the body's gonna to wanna to excrete as that mucus is gonna to try to come out much easier. And my other technique that I invented called nasal septum mobilization, which I'll attach that video below, real quick, within seconds, this can really help accelerate the process so that when you start blowing your nose, things will come out much easier. Real simple, left side, left thumb, underneath the cheekbone, push out and take your other two fingers and pull across and hold it there 10 seconds. Get underneath that maxillary bone, underneath that area there. Okay, good. And release. Right side, right thumb, push up underneath the facial bone here. Push underneath and out. Take these two fingers and pull across. And you'll immediately, within seconds, start to breathe better. You have less pressure and it's going to start to drain. Now, take your tissue again and repeat what we did before and see if there's a big change. And if you run into a crutch, these last three things will definitely help you. The first thing is you can take saline solution and squeeze it in the nostril, other one, and let it sit up there. And then again, you can repeat by blowing your nose gently, each nostril separately. And then you could also take a little bit of steam. It can come from a facial steamer or maybe over a pot and put a little bit of eucalyptus, peppermint, or even menthol. And that will open up your sinuses naturally to allow that drainage. And the last thing you can do, take a warm, hot compress, hot water and a towel, squeeze it out, put it over your facial area, right over the nose, right over the sinuses and let it sit there about three to five minutes. And your mucus will really start to get thinned out. You'll feel lots of draining. So now you have all the tools. Start utilizing them. I am confident you're going to see great progress. May I ask you please to share this with your friends, your family, and even your children, because you'll be doing them a good deed. Please leave your comments below, and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.